Okay, so after all of that magical time lapsing, you can see that we have a nice embossed figure. It's very obvious, thanks to the light source in that direction, you can see the contrast between the smooth and the non-smooth. But what you can't tell is during all of that hubbub, um, the texture from the golf ball is not as strong as I'd like it to be. So it's okay if you decide, once you've done all your carving and you've got all this debris, floating around, um, that you want to put more texture back into those flat, smooth areas. So you have, you know, um, a top depth of field and then a lower depth of field and then some sort of textural element to really make um, your borders pop. That's a good thing to do. So back to the water bottle. And now I've got a nice um, tactile response. So as I'm rolling the golf ball, I'll feel this groove. You know, it's like a gutter ball or, you know, bumper bowling. So we're just gonna roll nice hard pressure into the leather. Just making sure that it's taking an impression next to all the areas that I had just carved that have sort of smoothed out during the wetting process and the carving process. You want to try and keep as much of that texture in there as you can. So a little bit of hard pressure in the, the detail areas is good. And then for the larger areas, you can really lean into it because you're not worried about rolling over your design. I'm going to point out when you go to do all this carving, it's very time consuming. It's extremely boring. It looks nice, but the question is, are you going to be wearing this out to a fashion show? I know I probably will, but if you're going out to battle and cosplay, I'd say just do the burnishing detail and call it good um, because you're going to beat it up anyway. And uh, the more you carve out, the softer and flimsier your armor is going to get. So at this point, um, we have two options. We can either trim out our perimeter or we can start shaping this over some other surface to get um, the shoulder shape that we're looking for. So with that in mind, now that I have the textural elements that I want again, I think I'm gonna go find a large roundish form. So. I've had students bring rocks that have shown up from, I'm not going to say where, but it's, it's odd when a student shows up with a rock, like, I want to form it over this. And you're like, okay, but you didn't, where, where'd you get that rock? And then they tell you, and you're like, never mind, I don't want to know where you got the rock. Um, but I may go find a rock or a tennis ball or some sort of orb-like shape that's comparable to this shoulder. So uh, we'll see you in the next video.